ahead. We understand there's, uh, well, a little bit of good news, and Christmas has come early. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we're uh, very excited to, one, always be at MBAA because it's a great opportunity to uh, meet all of our customers and uh, see what new business we can get. And uh, today I uh, signed up a uh, contract uh, worth uh, nearly $200 million with our uh, partner in uh, Brazil, Leader, uh, who's been in business for over 50 years down there. They're really the uh, pre predominant uh, aviation company down there, but it was a mixture of uh, aircraft, uh, both the Hawker uh, jets as well as our Beechcraft products on our King Airs. 23 airplanes worth $200 million. Well, you've always had a very strong international base, but in light of everything that's happening right now, how do you expect this to affect you for the near term? Yeah, I think, one, it uh, continues to build uh, the backlog, which is always a, a very good thing. It provides uh, positive optimism in the market. Like I said, in a times of uncertainty, uh, it's a great vote of uh, confidence. And it says also that markets outside of the U.S. Uh, are unaffected by what's going on in the U.S. today. Well, you've announced not one, but two launches. It's kind of an exception around here, especially when everybody seems to be pulling in a little bit, waiting for the next shoe to drop. Uh, where do you think this positions you for the future? Well, one, we've been on a, a very aggressive uh, product uh, development strategy for the last uh, four or five years now. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to uh, invest money in new product because it's the future lifeblood of a company. So we're always going to be uh, looking at uh, where we need to be investing in products. And even in a uh, downturn, if that's what we end up going into, you've got to have new products when you come out of it. Well, uh, companies with uh, both your capitalization as well as your backlog at this point seems to be pretty much recession-proof for the, for the short term. There's a lot of talk about where we go three years from now and, and how long this is likely to affect us. Any ideas from your standpoint where you're seeing with the market? Well, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty right now, and, uh, you know, I wish I uh, really could give you a great answer on that, but I don't have one. Uh, you know, I'm like anyone else. We're waiting and seeing right now. But the market's been very, very strong leading up to this point, you know, prior to three weeks ago. Uh, we've had uh, just another tremendous year. And, uh, you know, as far as where it goes in the future, I think that, uh, one, this is a, a great business and that uh, I think it's going to be strong for many, many years to come. It's a business that's going through uh, cycles, both down and up. And uh, we'll come through this, and, uh, and I think it's a very bright, long-term future for uh, general aviation. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Let's talk methodologies. The thinking behind both the new King Air as well as the new Hawker. Yeah, it was really driven by our uh, customers. We did customer surveys, we conducted interviews, and we asked them, what did you want to see in new product development? And they talked about, we want to see more speed or performance on engines, avionics, and also they wanted to see uh, technology in the back end of the cabin and make it more flexible. So it was a combination of those uh, uh, factors that the customers gave us that drove us uh, into the uh, developments that we did. If you had to name in either airplane's regard that thing that distinguishes it from what's come before, what are the, what's the principal aspect of each airplane that makes it new? Yeah, the uh, the biggest thing is in the back end of the cabin, especially on the King Air 350i. And, uh, you know, as my salesmen tell me all the time, it's the cabin, stupid. It's the guy in the back that writes that check, so you want to make it comfortable. We tend, as an industry, to focus a lot in on the front end of the airplane with the avionics. But where we're focusing right now is on the back end of the airplane as well. This is a far more educated and discriminating market than it's ever been. These people are not only buying airplanes, but they're buying support. Support is a huge watchword because, let's face it, the AOG is a series of nasty little letters. Uh, what is happening in that regard, and where do we see any potential changes? Yeah, sales and support are left hand, right hand. Yin, yang, uh, you've got to have it. And uh, as you continue to grow your market, especially on a worldwide basis, and you're going into more remote areas of the world, you've got to have the support infrastructure, both from a service center standpoint as well as having parts availability. And uh, what we've done is we are uh, investing uh, in new uh, facilities uh, that are factory owned, as well as entering new partnerships uh, with other customers from joint ventures or uh, to where they're setting up uh, service centers for us, uh, literally around the uh, globe, from China to India to uh, Russia. 
uh, and as well as the United States. Do you see your balance between domestic and international sales to have leveled out a little bit? We've seen, of course, an additional em emphasis on international markets, and it's always been your strong point. But do we see that being steady from here on out? Well, actually, the international has been the strength of our uh, sales uh, activity here uh, the last year and a half, two years uh, for certain. I think you're going to continue to see the, uh, the international marketplace becoming a... Uh, uh, a growth area, especially in emerging markets. And what, let's, once people get into aircraft, they're not going to step back and not fly uh, general aviation. They're not going to go back to the airlines. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah! Wah! I want my watch now! I was really crying there for a second. If you could, how do we distinguish a King Air customer, a Hawker customer these days? There, there seems to be a type that goes after a certain type of aircraft, and there's been a bit of evolution in those regards. Are you seeing any evolution in the typical King Air customer or the typical Hawker customer? Uh, no, you know, it's really uh, been the same customer profile over the years, uh, although uh, there is becoming more prominence uh, in the, uh, the owner flown market. Uh, which has been predominantly the King Air, the guy that uh, owns his small business, and he's also the pilot of his airplane, and uh, or uh, high net worth individuals that have gotten into wanting to fly airplanes. It's easier for them to get into a King Air, easier to get insurance, training, etc. And then the hawker typically is that corporate operator, uh, you know, the Fortune uh, 500 type of uh, uh, customer. And going back again, you mentioned owner flown. Do you see any changes in your emphasis or your partnerships in the training market? Uh, well, we uh, have a very strong relationship with Flight Safety International, and any new airplane that uh, we sell comes with uh, full flight service or flight safety uh, full service uh, training positions. So, you know, we are very focused on, especially on the owner pilot, obviously. You want to make sure that they have sufficient training, and especially with regards to the new technology avionics. Uh, because it does require some additional training. But we've got a great partnership with Flight Safety, and uh, we make sure all of our customers, when they buy a new airplane, uh, go through that training. Brad, thank you for your time, and good luck in 2009. All right, thank you very much.